guys. Welcome back to another episode of Horror Babes and Booze podcast. I'm Leanne. I'm Simone. And this episode, we are talking about films that are coming out this year or have come out, upcoming, going down. Going down? (laughs) Whatever. Going Going down, down. down. (laughs) Um, What are we sipping on? uh, Today, okay, so a couple of things. One is we are having jalapeno pineapple margaritas. Yes. Love some spice in my wrong. life. Yeah, some, some sweet, some spicy. It works perfect together. Um, also but, works together on pizza. Just wanted to know. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's how we do our pizza, too. Okay, anyways. <laughs> um, we have the Killer Clown Tiki, the Geeky Tikis, because there is a game coming out this month. It is the Killer Clown from Outer Space uh, video game. It's kind of in the vein of DVD, so like Dead by Daylight. You know how it works. There's four survivors against one killer. I don't know the parameters yet on the Killer Clowns, but I think it's like seven survivors against three or four of the clowns. Ooh. So I think it's going to be really intense, and I'm really excited for it. So I figured we would celebrate the release of that with the Killer Clown Kiki Tiki. And who doesn't love some clowns? Exactly. Unless you're dating them. That's a different story. (laughs) Been there, done that. Too many times. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I've got Shorty. Who do you have? Oh, I've got Jumbo. What's his name? Jumbo. 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 Yeah. Okay. For some reason, I had it stuck in my head. Bilbo. That's fine. Close enough. Okay. Um, Air cheers. Air cheers. Let's see about the spice in my life. I totally just hit my tooth with a straw. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Straight up all of my look. It's so good. It's so good, but like, damn. I like it. <laughs> I do like it. It's too sweet for you. That's the face that you're giving. You're giving that it's too sweet for you. It's sweet. It's spicy. No, I do like it. It's dangerous, though. I'm like... That tastes like pizza. <laughs> Honestly, it tastes like pizza to me. I love pizza. I love pizza too, but it tastes like pizza, so that's okay. Really scary. Um, do you want to start? Do you think there's been anything like so far for you know the first half of the the year that's come out that you're really excited, like that you saw, that you are anxious to see, or that you've heard that's awful? Well, speaking about things I've heard that's awful that I've not seen and it's been out for a bit, and I was actually. Not excited for. I didn't really care that much, but um, they had a pop up down in LA, and I found out like last minute is imaginary. Oh, okay. I heard the pop up was amazing. Like you okay. could just walk through. There was like it was a great haunted house, from what people said. I found out like on a Thursday, and it was done by Sunday, and it's like I, that's not enough oh, time. No, no, no. And it was like blocks from here, and I was like, oh, of course, of course, yeah. I've heard not one good thing about that film. I've heard the most awful really? things about that that they're like this isn't good for adults this isn't good for kids this movie's pointless what i don't know what happened and you know what i don't think i ever will because I, it, as bad as the reviews are i don't care to try okay it's it's maybe, dragged through the mud maybe at the end of the year when it comes out on streaming probably not Ooh. Ooh. that's how bad the reviews are like and i'm not talking about like oh i read what roger and Ebert said right. zero thumbs up no like these are people like my friends that have seen it people online that I like actually trust their, their opinions. Yeah. There are some girls that I follow that I actually really appreciate that they get invited to the, the screenings from like, you know, yeah, of course the, the all that. And they will say like, I went to it and it sucked. And I'm like, you got invited and you were like, this movie is the worst thing I've ever seen. So I mean, gotta be honest. So yeah. So that's one that I'm not looking forward to, but one that yeah. I'm very much looking forward to is the strangers chapter one. Oh, uh, tell me where that's supposed to be again. The Strangers? No, I know, but is it's it supposed to be like the origin yeah. story? Is it a prequel? I think it is considered a prequel. It's a three chapter prequel. Okay. Um, I don't know. I really love The Strangers and mm-hmm. unpopular opinion, I guess, or just like slept on movie, but I love The Strangers Pray at Night. I. It's interesting. I like the second one better. Almost, Yeah. I got I got the DVD at the ninety nine cents or Dollar Tree or whatever, oh, really? and I was like, "Wow, people really must not like it if yeah. you're pushing it like that." Um, so I'm really I think it looks good. I will say I have a gripe that there's they show too much sometimes in trailers where there's okay. a scene where like she puts her eye up to or her face up to the door or like closes the door and puts her face back and like a 
axe comes through. Okay. I think that would have made me jump had I not seen it yeah. already in the trailer. Okay. But that one I'm really, really looking forward to. When but is that coming out? Don't okay. ask me that. I think I don't. Mm, July? Okay. So not too long. Yeah. Okay. I think. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> don't quote me. Don't ask don't me quote when you things. Don't anything. Don't. Apparently. Yeah, don't quote me. I'm not a quotable person here. Um. I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to look at, you know, there's one film that I think that I would like, but I'm just not excited for it because like of all of the shit that you saw on TikTok. Okay. Like I was just constantly seeing stuff for, on TikTok, just people like trying to promote it like before it came out and now that it's out and it's just like, well, I got tired of seeing that shit like on TikTok. I'm just not interested anymore. Immaculate. Oh yeah. I, I don't know. I'm. I'm not running out now that it's like, yeah, I don't know. Right. I, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued enough that I will watch it. I'm not breaking down the door to try and see it. See, I'm not even intrigued anymore. Oh, I'm intrigued. It, I never thought that a film could do too much marketing. And now I'm like, oh, stop shoving it down my throat. Yeah. That's how I feel. And yeah. So that completely turned me off from it. It's, I think part of it's because Sydney Sweeney. People are obsessed with her right now. Not to right. say I like her. But it's the same thing with like, isn't it the same thing with the Jacob Elordi and the Barry Keegan? Like, it's kind of They're like the that, new hot yeah, thing. they really are. Yeah. So like, they're going to overplay those people and those people are getting their bags. Like, good for them. Like, 100%. Do what you, what you can in the meantime. Yeah, yeah. I would definitely agree with that one. Yeah, so. Cuckoo's another one with that whole oh, crew, a Hunter yeah, Schaefer. Yeah, yeah. She's in it, and I don't yep. know what the fuck that's supposed to be about. Mm. I have no idea. Um, one film that I have not seen yet um, that I'm I, I need to see <laughs> um, is Abigail. I really want to see Abigail, yeah. but I've also heard bad things about that one. Oh no! Yeah. R- really? Yeah, and I think it's a great premise. I think right. the idea of it sounds fan fucking fantastic. Right. I have not heard great. I heard the execution wasn't what oh, it should be. No. But you know, people's opinions are their own. I obviously didn't feel that way about imaginary, but now I'm flip flopping and saying, "Hey, maybe they hated Abigail and I'll love it." Yeah. I'm still gonna watch that one. I'm I'm absolutely gonna watch that one, and I'm curious too, since it is a Universal movie, are they gonna incorporate that into Horror Nights this year? Oh, that's an interesting thought. Whether it's like a, like a small like mini haunt, just like something something little, or are they gonna make it like something big? Because this is the first horror film that they've like, put out in a minute. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think you're right. So, like, I would think that they would want to capitalize on on that as much as possible, right? But I haven't seen a whole lot of push for that movie in general. I haven't either. You know, and it's interesting because just recently, I think it was like maybe the end of last year, beginning of this year, we just recently found out the title for it. Yeah. Before, it was just like Universal Studios monster movie, untitled. Yep. So it's just like they're they're, they're purposely trying to like keep it under wraps, and I don't know why. Well, same in uh, Melissa... Barrera? Barrera, yeah. isn't it? And yeah, it's like, you've got a big name kind of tied in with it why is this not being marketed as hard as immaculate well it's the same thing with another movie that melissa barrera i I think we again we don't pronounce names right that she's in um i don't it i think guess the release dates to be determined Mm -hmm. um but it's your monster Mm, i'm not familiar with that one i I guess it premiered at one of like the big film festivals earlier this year yeah and i guess it was well received and it was recently picked up to to be distributed oh um but again even if it is going to be distributed i would think they would want to do some marketing or maybe i don't know how distribution works i don't don't know if they they don't market it until they have a date for release i have no idea but I thought that was interesting that there was just another one that's kind of under wraps that she happens to be attached to. Oh, 100%. So I didn't know if that was like done purposely. Yeah. There's another one that I'm, I feel like it's probably going to end up being very run of the mill, but I am looking forward to it. Tarot. Okay. It could, it could honestly be like a basic throw it out there. Bloom house style. I don't know if it's by blue house, but there's a style of just like teeny bopper, horror film it's nothing but i kind of have high hopes for that one i don't know i mean i I still have yet to watch and i've been meaning to i just have not gotten around to it 
is um, Talk to Me. Same. And I've heard good things about that. And I, I thought that was going to be a run of the mill teeny bopper. So I'm, yeah. I'm having high hopes that Tara will be good. I kind of think that it's going to be a little bit like Ouija. And I've never watched Ouija. Oh, okay. Is Ouija good? Um, Just watch it. Okay. It's worth a watch. Okay. But I kind of have a feeling that's what it's going to be like. Yeah, I could see that. Um... Okay, we got to go back to our man. Hold on. A little bit of drinks <laughs> before we talk about it. Who's our man? I, which one? There's so many. Um, Bill Scars card. Okay. So he's got a couple of things coming out this year. Ooh, okay. Enlighten um, me. The one that's coming out here soon is the crow. I know. I know I was going to get that kind of reaction from you. I'm super excited for Bill. <laughs> I want to see him and him shirtless, like, in any capacity. Um, he looks like a SoundCloud rapper. He looks like what? A SoundCloud rapper. Or a mumble rapper. Or, like, just, I'm not having it. I'm not fucking well, having Well, see, the makeup, to me, reminds me of Joker. Um, reminds me of... Yeah, I don't... The, that's not what... That's one guy's Joker. You went from a gothic mm -hmm. masterpiece to a joke? Yeah. I know. And it's not to say anything bad about him. I think he could do well, but the I don't know. I, think I don't he's going to do fantastic in the role, but I don't think he is being portrayed Eric in. Draven. No, not at all. It's cool if you want to bring him as somebody else because you're you're remastering that character entitled like entitled entirely. Yeah, but like I I just I don't know. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But I love mm -mm. Bill. I do too, but doesn't mean I have to love the way he looked in that. I don't even. No, I, I know. I don't even think he looks attractive. I think he well, looks. Are you serious? Oh, look. Okay. I think he looks like a joke. Hence the Joker, I guess. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to that. I'm honestly disturbed. Mm, that's a bummer. What's what else is he coming out? In? Anything else? That was it. <laughs> no, there's one. Uh, okay, what is it? Nosferatu. Oh, that's right. Yes. I, that, okay, that I'm excited for. <laughs> I'm excited that I'm like, for okay, you brought back to life. <laughs> Sorry. Isn't that from Robert e Eggers? Eggers? Robert, what? The guy who did, he, same guy who did Lighthouse. That director. Oh. I think it's from. Wouldn't that surprise me. I think it's from him. Oh, maybe, did I put the notes down? I think it's from no. him. Um, I didn't make it. I've tried to watch Lighthouse like two times. Yeah, I have no interest. I didn't, it was not not my thing. So I'm yeah. interested to see how Nosferatu plays out because I love the original. Yes. Yes. And there was the AMC show back in the day and I didn't have AMC. So I only got to watch a couple episodes, but it was like Nos 4 and I think it's RTU. Okay. But it was a Nosferatu. It was a vampire show. And I remember okay. watching like one episode and it was really good. Um, but I didn't have AMC plus or whatever. And I just yeah. never got to watch it. Um, but I really like Nosferatu in general. Okay. So I have high hopes. I'm just worried about which direction this yeah. could possibly go. I get that. That's a I think he'll make a good monster. He's going to make, oh, make a great one. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, the guy from like the menu, he's in it too. The guy from, um, we never have to remember his name. The, I don't remember any names. The guy from Renfield. Um, I didn't watch Renfield. In Oh, man, that's another one you have to watch. To watch. It's, it's a fun one. Um, oh, what's the other? Warm Bodies. Oh, okay. Yeah. That guy. He's that guy. Too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's cute. He's cute. He's cute. He's cute as a dead zombie. Think I think that we wouldn't remember his fucking name. Nope. No, I would not. I don't <laughs> remember anybody's names. I'm Somebody says their name and I like genuinely care. I just cannot repeat it. Yeah. I'm terrible with names. I hate it. I need like a tie a string around a string around my finger or something what does that do i don't know remember that thing is a kid you weren't told like oh that'll help you remember things if you like tie a string around your finger or something no. oh well <laughs> i need some kind of superstitious <laughs> shit to make me like better with names i have no idea oh maybe i'm making stuff up i don't know okay that's raised weird i don't know. um have you seen there's a movie called out coming out called long legs so i i heard of it i don't really know much of it you could watch the trailer and not know much of it. I have no fucking clue what this movie is about. 
And I was like complaining, you know, oh, the strangers give stuff away. But on the flip side, like long legs, I don't know what you're putting out. But yeah. I kind of like that. I know it's a horror. Okay. I don't know what else. I just know it's a horror. Yeah. I mean, I have it on my list, but I have like literally have no notes about it because it's just like, I don't it's know what it is. It's a horror. Could be good. Could be bad because it could be anything. I don't know what it's putting down. Yeah. But it's coming out around the same time. Like, it's coming ar- out around the same time as other huge films. Like yeah. Like, The Crow, uh, Watchers, um, and this one I'm excited for. And I haven't even seen the other two films. A Quiet Place. I'm... S- wait, you haven't seen the other two Quiet... Why, well, how are you... Okay. Whoa, 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 okay. whoa. Okay. <laughs> All right. Whoa. All right. In my defense... <laughs> Sorry, that was probably loud. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> um... I, okay, I watch movies as an escape. Yes. I don't do well with silence. Like It's not, it's not utter silence. You're not watching it completely like quiet. I know there's like little things, but like... Oh, there's loud sounds. I know there, there okay. are, but like... No, it's so good. That's what's been like the turnoff for me. It's just I can't do too much quiet. No, it's, it's so good. How dare you be f- excited about something you don't even know how good the original two are. Well, I'm excited because Joseph Quinn's in it. Do you know who Joseph Quinn is? Stranger Things? Yes. <laughs> Eddie Munson. <laughs> okay. That's why I'm excited. Well, no, I'm just trying to think. Um, I'm having a name fart, and I love him. I'm doing disrespect on his name right now. My boy from the office that made the movie. Oh, was- Krasinski. I love John Krasinski. I've yeah. loved him since The Office. I think he's hot. I would have loved if he had come back for this. Didn't he die? I'm not answering any questions. I'm pretty sure he died. I'm not answering any questions. No, he for sure died. I'm not answering any questions. I'm like Monica Lewinsky over he here. Died. What? Bill Clinton. <laughs> I did not have relations with that woman. I'm not speaking on none of that. I don't. I'm not a spoiler alert. He died. Because there was like a man in another in like the second one that she was like with. I, I'm gonna, I don't know if she was like with him. I'm gonna butcher this name, and he is a great actor. Okay. And he's in quite a bit of good movies. Uh-huh. I can never say. I don't think I'm saying it right. I'm scared to even spit it out. Cillian Murphy. Uh, isn't it Killian? See, I told you. Okay. He's in it. Oh, okay. He's yeah, great. yeah. Okay, watch the movies. Watch. It's just. Watch movies. Both of them. Fine. Um, I kind of put that in the same category, though, as um, oh, Bird Box. I liked Bird Box. A lot of people Bur- didn't. Is Bird Box very similar to A Quiet Place, though? Yeah. it's okay. the, There's another one that came out, too, that was had maybe Kieran and Shipka in it. I'm not positive. Don't quote me. There oh, was a girl yeah. with it where, like, that was another sound movie. Yes. So, like, Bird Box, mm-hmm. Quiet Place, and the one with Kieran and... That one's called. I don't remember. And I actually liked all three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I haven't watched any of them. Okay. Well, this conversation is over. There's a common trend, though. Common trend that you haven't watched three good movies. So how are you? I don't know. You've got to watch all three. Okay. There's a movie coming out that I will not watch. What is it? Sting. (laughs) That is the most. (laughs) Like, if somebody was like, what can we make of a movie that Leanne would absolutely fucking hate? They made it. You're telling me it's a giant spider. It eats animals because I see it in the fucking trailer. And it was no, no, dog. That's a no for me, dog. So you're definitely not watching Infested either. Nope. That two spider movies. That's a no for me, dog. I know. I know. I saw those and I was like, oh shit. No. Oh, that's your favorite. You're definitely watching those. <laughs> no. And then I hate that that stupid, cute little whistle. And I'm like, I'm supposed to associate that with a fucking giant man eating spider that eats their cat? It eats a cat. You told me yeah. enough in this fucking trailer to tell me I will not. I, I might watch Invested because it will genuinely give me the heebie jeebies and scare me. I might be self destructive in that form. Man, I already have to kill. One I know. I'm here for you. I know. I mean, I have you calling me at three o'clock in the morning. Oh, cool. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm not doing it with Sting because I know they eat the animals. You could eat the. No, don't. No. Well, did you watch Eight Legged Freaks? It was like a. It was David a Arquette's in that. David Arquette's in that. Yeah. yeah. But, like, there's a. 
a cat that gets eaten. Yeah, but that that one's just that one's more campy. Like it for sure is. They're like it. I'm not if if 10, 20 foot tall spiders come, I'm not fighting that battle. I am not fighting that battle. I do not have that much will to live. Oh my god. I don't have that kind of will to live. If five foot spiders came at me, I don't have the, that kind of will to live. I'll fight cancer. I will not fight spiders. How many? How many five feet spiders are we talking? Enough to scare. Uh, n- no, how many? Like, put a tangible amount on it. Enough that people can't kill them. Where if it's what like do you a mean? if it's like a state of emergency, I'm done. But like, if it's a state of emergency, then the military's gonna step in. You act like the military saves people in horror movies. But like, I'm just thinking logically. If Logically. there's a state of emergency where there's spiders, look at Cloverfield. That's a state of emergency. And what do they do? They just nuked everybody. So just wait for them to nuke it. And then you'll be fine. Yeah, but in the meantime, I might have to fight these motherfuckers. Hide. Spiders can smell you. They smell me. They, they smell my fear. <laughs> they smell my fear. I'm, nobody's going to tell me differently. <laughs> Everybody that knows me, that knows me well enough, knows that spiders are attracted to me because they know that I'm fucking terrified of them. They know. I don't think I've that's had. How that works. That is a hundred. How many people have been bitten by a brown recluse twice in their life? Me, because they know I'm fucking scared of them. I've been in the hospital multiple times because of spider bites. Like th- these guys know. They can taste my fear. Or maybe it's just because of where you lived. No, because none of my friends had that problem. I had like one, two other friends that had been bitten by a brown recluse, not twice in their life. How many of your friends were as wild as you were? I played the fifth. <laughs> Spiders don't know about how wild I am. Yeah, but reckless behavior <laughs> leads to <laughs> like, reckless. shit like that. Okay. That, that movie's... Ooh. Violent Nature. Have you heard about that one recently? Actually, no. I don't even think I have that on my list. That one's gotten no. like a... Oh, so I've recently just seen started seeing stuff about it. I don't okay. know when it's coming out, but it's been getting like like really, really, really good reviews on people that have seen it. Like Rotten Tomatoes, like originally it's like a 100% score. It's from the point of view of the serial or the, the killer. Oh, cool. So I'm excited to see... Is it a male killer or a female killer? I believe a male. I don't know. It's just the point of view of a killer. I don't, it doesn't give you a whole lot of like... Gives me violent some, like, nature. Yeah, it gives me okay. maybe Kane Hodder like by Lake. Okay, but it's from his point of view, so I'm I'm very intrigued to see. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. So I know I mentioned this earlier, but I feel like I need to like touch more base. Touch more base. Touch on more base. <laughs> Third base. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What base are we on? Touching all kinds of things. <laughs> um, so the Watcher. The oh Watcher. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's M Night Shyamalan's daughter. Daughter. Is yeah. Shauna, I think is her name. So I think this is her first film. Yeah, it is her debut. So that's very interesting. Like the the trailer. Tr- not, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> the trailer. The tequila looks really good. Like, the trailer, like, it's Dakota Fanning, I believe it is. That's yeah. In it. Like, I think she's definitely following her in her dad's footsteps. Um, but it's interesting. Like, she's coming out. I think it's, like, it's June. And then he is releasing his new film a few months after that, Trap. And so it's just funny. It's, like, they're, they're both coming out with a film in the same year. You know, he is allowing her to have a couple of months to her own film. And then I, I think it's kind of a way to promote his film, too. You know? I'm sure. Because I know there's going to be talk little about. little stepping stone. Exactly. Talk about hers and then, like, then go into to his. So I think that he's, interesting. He's a weird one for me. I like some of his stuff Agreed. and some of it. I've been like, you did me. Dr- I fucking hated the village. See, I didn't mind the village. Not the, Sorry, I like the village. The I hated the mermaid one. No, it is a village. The vi- yeah, it was a village. I saw that in theaters, and I was like, "This is good. This is good. This is bullshit." The visit I liked. Oh yeah, I really did like the visit. The visit was really good. Yeah, that's the one I just got semi confused with. I like the visit. I hate the village. I did okay. not see mermaid film. That one was awful. I didn't like that one. Oh, signs was. Signs was good. Signs was really good. I yeah, really signs enjoyed was signs. Good. There was another one he did that I was like, uh, this, "You do." Old was really good. I haven't seen old. That was really good. That doesn't... I don't like films like that. I don't need to... What do you mean? I don't know. Like... There's like one... What do you mean like that? What do you, If you haven't seen it, what do you mean? 
Isn't it where like they go to an island and they age weird? Leonardo DiCaprio did a film like that fucking years ago. And I don't like, I just, there's like. Why did he age weird? I don't know. I don't want to watch premature aging in a film. I don't know. It gives me deep rooted anxiety. I don't fucking know. But it doesn't like make you question why. No. Let's stay in my lane. No. <laughs> Not at all. Stay in my lane. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> all right. Um, another one I'm excited for. Terrified three. Dude, I did not put that on my list. Around December, to. I'm gonna have a new Christmas horror. I'm excited, and is it Christmas Christmas themed? Yes, think? and oh, Damien nice. Leone even said like, "Damn, I might have gone too far on this one." He's like, "Even I got a little fucking queasy," and I was like, "Let's fucking go." I wish I had like something to. Yeah, I know. To I'm like literally, out. I could be telling you about anything, and you'd have an opinion. This, you're just like, shut up. To stop, and no, stop. it's not that I'm like shut up. It's no, but just you're like, just like Bleh. honestly, I don't think I've hated a film more. Wow. And, uh, Ouch. Yeah, yeah. So like anything, Terrifier two, don't give a fuck. Terrifier three, don't give a fuck. Like I give all the fucks. I it doesn't. Know. It doesn't need your fucks when I'm just throwing fucks at I it. I know you're giving them all. <laughs> like, I, and I'm gonna get those photos of Damien and Art the Clown because Damien's in my photo op. Art the Clown as, a, well, David Thornton, is that his yeah. name? Yeah. yeah He's going to be as Art the Clown and then Damien Leone. They're both going to be in the photo and I'm going to be like, this is terrifying. And you're just going to be like, <laughs> <laughs> I can already see you on the sidelines. Like, that's exactly what you're going to be throwing shit at me. You're just going to be like, do not care. hundred percent. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay. It, it's fine. It'll make Sipping me. Some tequila it'll some make me back. laugh. So then, at least I probably, maybe, hopefully, won't have some derp ass face in the photo. But no, nah, your photos are great. Like the photo with the, the screencast, it's great. That one came out good. Yeah. Ninety. Okay. What about when I met um, David Naughton from American Werewolf in London, and I like. You never showed me that picture. Actually, I never saw that picture. No, just I went into full like idiot mode. It was like uh, 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 couldn't talk to him. For his, some reason. His, like, handler was very rude. Fair. So maybe that's what it was, to be honest with you. Like, yeah. when the vibes are off with other people around these people, like... I don't feel like my photo... Well, oh, you were in the photo, too, but I feel like my portion of the photo with Dee Wallace didn't come out good, because I think I was overly oh, excited. I, say, I never saw her, that one, either. Oh. You never shared those with me. <laughs> I shared them with Instagram, and you were there, so... I definitely did. You just... Maybe you oh. didn't care. I care! You don't care. I care. You care as much as you care about Terrifier. But I'm not on Instagram anymore. Fair enough. I will be. Okay. Soon. It's going to be a grand return. It is. Nice. It will be. I'm excited. Yes. What else are you excited for? Um, I don't really know if we can consider this horror. Okay. Beetlejuice 2. (laughs) I will push children out of the way to get in line to see that because those kids don't even know. They can go fuck themselves. Yeah. They don't know. They have no idea. I've been waiting way too long for this. Yeah. This is huge. I'm excited for it. Like, if my cancer comes back and I die before then, I go let everybody know I will go to the grave the most upset person in the world that I died before I got to see Beetlejuice, too. Mm. Yeah, I'm putting that out there. Don't put that out there. <laughs> I gotta hold on. <laughs> so it's September, so... You got this. I got this. If I die in a car accident, if I die at all, just know I went to the okay, grave can pissed. You not have this for me? <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, have you seen that they're doing a return to Silent Hill? Yes. I'm excited and apprehensive. Um. Well, I want a date first. They didn't give us a date. It's Fair. still to be dirt. TBD. <laughs> so I think that one's coming out next year, to be honest with you. I don't think we're going to get that this year. Um, yeah, I'm same. I'm apprehensive um, because the first one I thought was great. Mm-hmm. I know a lot of people didn't enjoy the first one. Uh, second one was awful. Revelations, fucking awful. I enjoyed all of them on some weird capacity, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, no. I think nostalgia-wise, I... I get that. I understand that. Um, I don't know. 
I don't know who's making it. I don't know who's directing yeah, I don't, it. Yeah, I don't have enough backstory. Yeah. What else for you? Huh? What else for you? Um, Wolfman. Oh, and who's, in, who's playing that? Uh, I don't know who's playing it, but I know it's being directed by Lee Winnell. Oh. So I think it's going to be fan-fucking-tastic. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. It's and coming out this year? It's coming out this year. Yeah. Uh, October. Interesting. Yeah. I think, I think it's going to be great, and I think they're going to use more practical. Okay, that's exciting to hear. I mean, no, that's my personal opinion. I have no idea if they're going to or not. Like, I, I know nothing of oh, this film. okay. But yeah. being Lee Winnell, I would think it's going to be more practical. I would like to hope so, yeah. Yeah, so I have a high hopes for that yeah, one. Yeah, 100%. So while you're watching Terrifier 3, I'll go watch Wolfman, and then I'll let you You can tell me, and I won't tell you because you won't care. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what about you now? Um, there's one that people have been talking about and I don't like these films in general, Okay, but this sounds interesting. Stop motion. I don't like stop okay. motion style of films. Yeah. But this sound, I'm intrigued. Same. I, I've seen a little bit about that one and people have said good things and I'm yeah. like, okay, are you full of shit or is this good? But I'm, I'm right. Interested. I wouldn't go pay money in a theater. No, I will to not. See it. Absolutely not. But like if it's streaming somewhere, like. I'm just it. not a stop motion. But I can see where it could be creepy. It does give me creep vibes. Like, yes. Mm, I got the heebie-jeebies. So did you ever play Little Nightmares? No. Okay. So that is a game that like I, I dabbled in a little bit. Um, and for some reason, that's the vibes that it's giving me. Okay. It's giving me like Little Nightmares vibes. And for being like a kid's game, that shit's scary. It's scary and it's hard. And it's just like little kids. Just, like, little kids and these, like, creatures and these, like, oh, I just bit my fucking tongue. What the fuck is wrong with me right now? And gnomes and, like, it's stuff, it's elements that you wouldn't think that would be that creepy, but put them all together. I feel like the it, game that creepy. I played on PlayStation growing up that I still actually have on the OG PlayStation, 40 Winks. Okay. I feel like that must have walked so Little Nightmares could run. Ah, uh, okay. Because, like, it's a kid that falls asleep. He has a teddy bear. You could be the boy or the girl. And then you, like, run around and, like, have to collect hoodwinks from these, like, uh, monsters. Okay. And it is so much fun. But it was fucking hard. I was like, yeah. dude, even as an adult, when I try and go right. back and play, like, I can't beat this. Yes. Beating the shit out of you with my teddy bear and I'm dying. You're a fucking monster. What the yeah. hell what kind of bullshit is this? Yeah. It, that sounds very similar. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but no, as yeah, as an adult, it's hard as fuck. Yeah, but that's the vibes that I get from it, just from what I've read so far. Um, I mean, there's a couple that are just like, okay, that's coming out. Yeah. Um, I mean, there is like a a remake. I guess it's an American remake. Um, where is it from? Oh, it's a Dutch film. So I love movies that are from the Dutch people. <laughs> are they Danish? <laughs> Danish. And they're Danish, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking, we're so Were they from Dutchland? <laughs> Deutschland? Well, I think they're from the Netherlands. Yeah, but like, I'm just thinking about you being like... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, it's the American version of that film, and James McAvoy's in it. Okay. Um. So, obviously, I love James McAvoy, so I think it's going to be great. Oh, I didn't tell you what it no, was. No, I was like, what is... Speak it? no evil. So, no, 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 no. Yeah, speak no evil. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Because when I think Speak No Evil, I think the Danielle Harris... See No Evil. Oh. One of those. You're not speaking, you ain't talking, you ain't doing another issue. <laughs> I don't know. See No Evil, Hear No Evil, wait. See hear No, no evil, evil, See No, see no speak. Yeah. 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 So now we just need to hear. Okay. That's the only one we're missing. Okay. Um, interesting. There's a couple of remakes that are TBD that were listed as possibly being this year that okay. I'm actually really excited about. Well, excited because I like the originals. We'll see what plays out as these TBD remakes. Yeah. Um, Salem Slot. I don't think that's coming out this year. Well, it, it said a pushed. maybe. I know, but it keeps getting pushed. I know. Like year after year, we just keep getting it. And, and if we don't have a date by now, it's not coming out this year. Fair. Which board? Ah, Vecna, isn't it? I don't know his name. That guy. I know who you're talking about. I just don't. I'm. I don't know. He's a great actor. He was great in Stranger Things, and he was great in um, the Mortal Instruments. I have no idea what that is. Like, never uh, heard that in my entire life. It's like um, 
I think it came out around the same time, like, Hunger Games and stuff came out. It's very, like, fantasy, like, Percy Jackson kind of thing. Okay, out of my realm. It was good. Just not my realm. I get it. <laughs> um, Faces of Death. Uh, I did hear about that. I'm intrigued to see where they go with that. Obviously, okay. it's not the... There was, like, a lore that grow up, that I grew up with, at least, of, like, you can't rent Faces of Death because this is, like, real stuff. Yeah. And then I come to find out, like, literally in the last five years, I found out, like, some of that shit is real. Ah. Uh, a lot of it's not. The animal ones, unfortunately, were. And that was what my mom would be like, you don't want to rent that. And I'm like, yeah. at 13, I'm like, fuck yeah, I do. Yeah. And she's like, no, you don't. And then we would rent them and she'd have to fast. She would have to fast forward for me because she's like, you will go into, like, a depression like no other. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, fair enough. Um, And then the last one is... They're remaking Toxic Avenger. I know. So I thought that movie was already out with um, Elijah Wood. Elijah oh, Wood. I did not Elijah know Wood. Elijah Wood was in it. Yeah. I could have swore that fucking movie was already out. Oh, but it's not by Trauma, right? I don't know. I that's, don't know. That's where I don't I'm know like, much uh, about that one. I don't think it's from Trauma, and I'm like, I don't know how I feel about like it getting like the big time. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, yeah. I hope it does good. Yeah. Those we'll are- have to figure out. I think it may have been released maybe in like a, a film festival. Maybe. maybe that's what it was that I heard about it. Maybe. And so now maybe it's same thing with your monster. Maybe it's got picked up by a distribution company. And now we're on be, the waiting game of yeah. when is that going to come out. Yeah. That very well could be what I'm thinking of. I mean, I'm excited. For all four of those, yeah. they're TBD, but I'm... I'll TBD these nuts because I'm excited. <laughs> I need to grow up by now. No, it's fine. Never do. <laughs> Never do. Um, oh, okay. There's another one that uh, premiered at film festivals this year that's kind of TBD too. Um, sleep. Hmm, it's that? a South Korean film. Ooh. And it's about sleepwalking. Ooh. So I think that one's going to be really 100%. good. 100%. Um, yeah. They yeah, know their horror. Yeah, but I, uh, I have a feeling that one's not coming out this year either. Probably not. I don't know why. I just have the feeling that this stuff's not coming out this year. That's fair. I mean, we're pretty deep into 2024 at this point. Yeah, and not to have a date yet. Like, I, I don't think they would do that. I think they want to put as much marketing as possible in it, at least like six months worth of marketing. So I think if these things do not have dates as of now. It's not a bright outlook. Yeah, exactly. There's one that you're probably more excited than I am for to come out. Yeah. Um, Smile 2. I am. I don't. I know. I know you're you're not ex- it's kind of like maybe not so much like the vitriol hate vitriol vitriol Vit- vitriol vitriol <laughs> vitriol hate that I have anyways. Yeah, I don't hate smile. I just didn't get the hype over it. I thought it was great. It was just too long. I thought it was I don't know. I I knew what was coming. It was I get it. The monster really didn't do it for me. Okay. I think the monster reminded me of the barbarian woman yeah but that was fun that that threw me for a loop there was some like good shockers in that so i don't know barbara you know i love me some barbarian i know you do (laughs) you know i love that so uh but yeah i am excited for a smile too that's gonna be the same month uh as your terrifier you can go see two movies while I sit in Terrifier. <laughs> maybe I'll have a back-to-back Terrifier. That's true. Or maybe I'll be so fucked up from the scene that he talks about that mm. you can go see both films and then realize I'm still picking my job. Off yeah, the maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, my goodness. Um, I think that's really all I have. <laughs> um, I do have one. Oh, actually, I have two. I have Maxine, which... I haven't seen Pearl thrilled. yet. Right. So, so I I did see that come up. I'm still needing to see Pearl. Yeah. You got to do that soon. I mean, yeah. you should watch that. I need to catch um, up at the times. And then Alien Romulus. Oh, I did see that too. I'm not excited for it because they fucked up with Alien Covenant. Yeah. So like, why do I want to watch another Alien film that you're just going to fucking botch? That you're going to have a whole bunch of CGI fucking xenomorphs that's, that I don't want to fucking see. That's, Yeah. That's where my problem is. And God, when did Covenant come out? Like, it was a while a ago. A long I feel. time ago. Yeah. Because I saw it in theaters and I was like, oh. it had to have been a long time ago. Like 2018, 2019, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. And I'm thinking, like, you waited a long time. Yeah. 
And you're doing it with CGI, so I still don't care. I guarantee they're doing the CGI. Yeah, we're not having a full circle back to practical effects, yeah, no. which is really unfortunate. It is. That yeah, it yeah. is. But I mean, look at Prey. Imagine if they would have done CGI with Prey. Exactly. That would have been. That would. I would have had a completely different. Exactly. Opinion. That would have. Those films you have to do practical. Hundred percent. So that's yeah. yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, but we need to catch up with films. At least I need to catch up with films that are on Shutter this year. Um, I mean, I need to catch up on a lot of films, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, but I think that's it. I mean, obviously there's more that are coming out in 2024. I think these ones are the, the biggest ones, the biggest hitters, um, or the one that we've seen the most about. Yeah. But I mean, we'll obviously, once we go through some of them, uh, once they come out, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about them. Know. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. So. Yeah. I want to hear what you guys like want to see for 2024. Like what, what you guys are excited for, you know, what you thought about the, the first half of the year for the movies that have already been released. Like I'm, I'm interested in hearing everyone's opinion on that. So. Have you seen Imaginary and thought it was the greatest piece of work you've ever witnessed? Please let me know. Cause that's not what I want. Maybe that'll change your mind um, on yeah. seeing it. And I'll I need a four page too, essay so. on why I should watch it. Just kidding. <laughs> You write me a four-page essay on why I should watch it, I might watch it. She will definitely watch it. Yeah, I'll feel obligated, honestly. <laughs> yeah, you would definitely watch it. All right. All right. Well, I guess that's it for now. That is. Bye. Bye.